on Washington, D.C. surveillance cameras ahead of last month's inauguration. Hackers targeted traffic and security cameras in the nation's capital just eight days before President Trump was sworn in. And the attack happened while federal law enforcement officials were trying to ramp up security. Jeff Begays is in Washington and tracking the investigation. Jeff, good morning. Good morning. What we know now is that the Secret Service was racing, trying to figure out who was behind the cyber attack before the inauguration. This security breach affected traffic and street cameras, security cameras around Washington like that one right up there. Federal officials tell us that the hackers injected malicious code into the system and it crippled about 70% of Washington's camera network. The cyber attack that hit Washington's cameras targeted the system that was part of the security in place to monitor several key locations on Inauguration Day, including the parade route. Investigators quickly isolated an IP address and then traced it to a location in Britain where two people were taken into custody. But officials say despite those arrests, the search for suspects is expanding. Chris Caruso is leading the Secret Service investigation. The case isn't closed. Um, at this point in time, we're pursuing all available leads. Authorities are still trying to determine if the cyber attack was part of a larger plot. Secret Service agents with the Electronic Crimes Task Forces based in Rome and Paris are now working the case. The Secret Service is increasingly being called upon to investigate cyber attacks. In Washington, there is a cyber operations center where agents can track malicious codes which could affect computer networks of power grids, water companies, and even the air conditioning of buildings which could in turn have an impact on the president's security. In this case, hackers took control of the DC security cameras using code known as ransomware. In the past, hackers using ransomware have targeted hospitals, cities, or companies by essentially holding data hostage to extort money. America first! For now, the Secret America Service would not reveal first. the motive for the cyber attack before the inauguration. Did the people behind it make any sort of demand? I can't speak specifically about uh, what the Secret Service found with this investigation at this point. If they did, you can't talk about it. That's correct. No ransom was paid. The security cameras were shut down and then back up and running again within 48 hours. And now we're told investigators are trying to figure out if other major cities around the country experience similar cyber intrusions. Gail? An interesting question. Thank you very much, Jeff. A woman gave birth.